All right. Number one, review minutes. All right. So uh, meeting minutes, we got a visual of that in front of us. Very good. Um, I make a motion to approve those minutes. I second that. And do we vote on that as well, or just first and second? We both to vote on it. All right. Uh, I vote yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's correct. All right, meetings approved from our July meeting. Don't forget those. Oh, Justin, yes. Did, what yeah. up? <laughs> I, Justin, this is Justin Davis, I approve it, yes. <laughs> All right, I am uh, number two on there. Item two, new business. Am I in the right category? A, soccer update. Uh, yep, oh, yeah. Yeah, new soccer business. update. A, soccer update. Cool. Um, so that season's coming to an end this weekend. Um, our rainout games for like grade three, four, those were all made up, which was good. We got those in during the week. Um, our total, um, like money we made for that, total revenue was three thousand and sixty-five dollars. Cool. So that'll all go into our revolving account and. Um, continue to spend that as we see fit. So we at least break even on that, right? Yeah. Is that include all the usually balls? soccer and basketball you'll make money. Yeah. I don't know if baseball made. is usually the one that Yeah, baseball is definitely the balls or what, what there's a lot more you buy for baseball. Yeah. Umpires. Catch yeah. 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 Umpires. Umpires. Oh yeah. we kinda help sponsor Picard while we do. We we um like run the Picarski youth team. At a Wheatley. So, because like there's like four majors teams, so we take one of them. Okay. Um, yeah. But like basketball this year, I say our only expense will be jerseys, medals, and then we're going to get that new scoreboard thing. And that'll be expensive, but a new uh, oh, controller? Yeah, a new controller. So Oliver, uh, Oliver Williams doesn't have to deal with that crummy one ever again. Yeah, we'll get all light bulbs in there. Yep. Yeah, get the light Are those expensive? Um, I, yes, but not ridiculously expensive. I do not remember off the top of my head, but definitely well within our... Because you don't need the whole... Can you, you just get... Hey, can you get a remote one for it or no? Yeah. Yep. You going to get the remote one? Yeah, wireless. Yep. All right. Yep. Does that mean it's going to get wired in to the scoreboard? Uh, a receiver? Yeah, something like that. Well, yeah, we just, I would say we just need to check that compatibility. Yeah. Because it's going... That's going to be, that could turn into a huge pain in the ass if you have to... Uh -huh. Well, my guess is you probably get a remote one for it, but you just have to take up in where the scoreboard, where the hard wire goes in, you probably just pull that out and replace it with a receiver. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see if you can get a remote one for it. Oh, look at that scoreboard. Scoreboard must be original. Joey and Haley were there. It was up there. I think it got put in when they built the school. I bet that's 30 years old. Well, I think it got put in right when the school was built. When the school was built in 92, I think. The scoreboard's fine. The scoreboard's good. It's just the the scoreboard is fine. The scoreboard's good. It's just the whatever the box. Box, yeah. Yeah, and I was I got like a quote from uh, Nevco, which is who we went through for the other scoreboard. Okay. The baseball one. So yeah, I'll. Uh, yeah, see if they like the baseball I'll one. See yeah. if they can, if you can get a remote one for it. Okay. You would need no cable. Yep. All right. And yeah, I'll make sure it's compatible and all that kind of stuff with the rep. Yeah, I'm sure this is a problem that comes up all the time. Uh, but he'll, I guess, I'm sure he'll know exactly what we, yeah, what to do. Just it over. Yeah, those would be the only basketball expenses, really. Soccer, refs, but that's all going to high school kids, so that's a good thing. That comes out of our revolving. What are we hey, uh, speaking of, hey, speaking of the uh, basketball um, scoreboard there, is um, is there a day that's good for you, Wayne, to get in there and put that uh, dedication plaque up, or I, I'll meet you down there. If, I don't know if you got any time on to do that. Pick a day and just call me, Justin, or text me. Okay, just any day. All right. Yeah, I'll I mean, um. 
Yeah. Really I mean, he's a town employee, so he's so. pretty much a <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, th that's cool with me. Then I'll I'll just come up, I'll come up with a day and I'll give you I'll give you a holler. Yeah, whenever you're around here, but yeah. Yeah, when you have a chance, just and you can get over there, just call me and text me. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, you live right there, so why not? <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, we're paying kids thirty-five bucks. Yeah. Yeah, like. I think, oh, that's, that's great. It's great for the kids. Yeah. And like, I totally get it because, like, if it were like 20, 25 bucks nowadays, like, half a tank of gas, not even, you know what I mean? So, and we do, we have some awesome kids doing it. Like, they're all Wheatley student athletes, which is cool. So, yeah, that's going well. Um, yeah, Justin hooked us up with bringing us uniforms, soccer balls. We'll have the medals. So thank you, Justin, for uh, hooking us up with that per usual. Absolutely, my pleasure. Um, item number three. Was uh, well, uh, so the, the soccer update and then upcoming grant opportunities school. So for that one, we'll have. CPA applications. Anybody want to do some phone calls? Uh, what are you looking for? No, let's do the call. So what we're looking the call. CPA, I mean, Chris, the time we're going to put in for. Remind me again when CPA is the. Uh, Community Preservation Act. So okay. in your tax bill, your town tax bill, yes. 3% of your tax bill goes into the CPA fund. Mm -hmm. Then the CPA, CPC. CBC that dole CBC is the committee yeah, that doles that controls out the CPA money, and it's broken in. I can't remember if it's three or four groups. There's recreation. There's historic. Some kind of like environment, like a yeah, whatever the other ones are. There's so much money they got to spend in each one. I mean, Chris, I think we're going to put in for. The trees and the fence down there, and Brian actually recommended put in for the bathroom. And anything else you guys want to think about? You mean the batting cage? Or batting cage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be projects that we'll be able to start when we get that money in. But they're due, they got to be in December. Yep. I don't know the, what day in December. How do we the rec usually for recreation is available? I don't know what we look at, so. I don't know what's in their budget. Would you say technically it's like it's a like equal if for everyone to pay? Yeah, if they have a hundred thousand dollars in it and say twenty five percent has to be allocated to rec, then there's twenty five grand. Who goes for rec? Someone will go for rec. Oh, rec strictly rec, not recreation. No, no, no. no. What else in town can go for CP? Recreation and open space. So it'd be like That's someone will club goes for falls to recreation. Yeah, and I don't know where, who else you competing against. I'm trying to think if APR is the same. They considered the open space. I don't know. I, I, they have, they have a bunch of different rules about. It. I know I know it's because I mean, Paul, they're committee members. Because Paul hey, Paul's a lot of other Paul for it. And he didn't, the way he, did, he worded it didn't qualify. So he got yeah. he's got to try to reword it this year to try to put it in again. Um, but the so the backstop. What backstop were we talking? Not backstop. Batting cage. Batting cage. Yep. So we took out the old one, and we want to get a double one because now we have the additional field. And in the springtime, like every time you drive by, there's more than one team on that field. You know. So it's also inclusive, kind of Title IX-ish. You yeah. know, because like it now you have one available for the softball team if they're practicing. Um, well, that's what we're hoping to do is get and then what a about double one for down and put it down between the two baseball fields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, put one up the right the, and then put one up for the girls for the softball field. Oh. But that'll be, that won't be a batting tone, right? Those will be the soft toss nets? Probably. Yeah. We'll do something with it. Yeah. But put something out there for the softball field. Yeah. What, um, 
Uh, when you say trees, what, 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 what trees are going to be? The parking lot, though, the bathroom variation. Yes. Part of that is there's a tree planting guy. Oh, put trees back in. Yes. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, this is what I have from last meeting. We had seven oak trees, seven American lindens, <laughs> 24 sweet ferns, and 24 northern baby. I've got a, I got a, I got a tree guy. I'll, I'll explain wait, landscape design. <laughs> what? Oh, your landscape design. No, was this was our the architect. Yeah, the architect, the tree planting guy. But we need to get. You need money. Well, no. The thing is, we need to get new quotes. And the CP, they want two quotes. Yeah. They need two quotes for the shrubberies and the trees. Two quotes for the fencing. What it, when I did it the first time, what do you remember what it was? It's like 13, 14 grand, I think. Okay. So now I'm saying probably 20. Now, is that the. <laughs> well, no, the other thing I remember, whoever wants to do this, is add. 10% usually for contingency. <clears throat> but the thing is, if you if we apply for this in December and they okay it, then it goes to town meeting, and if it gets through the town meeting, you won't see this till June. Yeah. Which who wants? You know what I mean? Do you want to plant trees in June? Probably the, not. You probably want to wait till the fall time. The um, the this work though. Is it, we contract it all out, or can we do it? If we do it ourselves. Is assuming they were just buying the trees and dropping them. We can do it ourselves. The thing when we did it went through the first time with it, the CPC like that the landscape companies were gonna give a one year warranty on them. But they the tree died within a year they come back and replace it. They're worried if we did it and it died, we just have to line on. I think what they're getting. How many trees are there? Are there 12 in total? Well, you can put as many as you want. I'd like to start dotting them around the baseball then. Under eventually with some shade. Huh? Is that bad? Yeah, you know what I mean? Now, I don't know so much we need to worry about the big diamond, but the little diamond. Dot some down third baseline and some down first baseline. Okay. I, I mean, I think in general, the, I think like the message is that you drive a hurley. Hurley is whatever that soil is, is the fucking nicest field in like the world. No, I get, get and it's unbelievable how the grass is grown there. Yeah, they definitely take care of it. it and when like, they mow it for like you can see the difference just fertilizing the little diamond this year. Yeah. And we had this champion fertilizer. Yeah. No, I mean it helps with the with the rain and everything that's true, of course. Well, yeah, that helps. But too, any but anything that I think you can do to continue to like take care of Hurley, like I think the I think it's champ though. Oh yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah, we need to look at it. I think it's expanding. Yeah. I was you know what I was talking about that with was uh, my guy Dan Kennedy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's just there's a lot of teams that want to use that field. Yeah. Are there are there really though? Which field? Uh I mean and the thing that sucks is a lot of times you end up with the soccer wants to be used with the baseball big time. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would... <laughs> but like even this fall, like at that field, old man teams were still playing. So we'll make like another 250 bucks from that. Um, probably by the end of the season, we'll send them another bill. Um, you know, and then they had the fall teams going for Kofax and that. So like that field was getting used quite. I mean, it looks awesome because Wayne's still keeping it up. So, yeah, I mean, care about the money. Just yeah. like that, you know, it gets used. Yeah. That Little League diamond has not been used since the summertime, so that's kind of sprayed it once at the end of summer and it kind of came back, but now it, it needs to be. It ain't that bad. I walked across it the other day. There's not as many there as you think there are. I know. I don't like how they're just. I they're, drive by Oh, I know, <laughs> but they're just. It's, they're like a single big weed. Yeah. That looks like a bunch. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta get that one cleaned up and get the big diamond to do something with that. What do you want to do with that? Well, it's really starting to get, I call it, on the, yeah, so we need more dirt. <laughs> yeah, you, you watch, you watch some rollers go down the baseline, they go like this, hit the grass, you come back, hit the grass, come back. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing at Frontier. For, yeah, uh, and there's a huge, I mean, 
the baselines are whatever. I mean, but the ones I worry about are like third base shortstop are bad right now. Yeah. I don't know how nobody's ever just tripped. There's probably a left in the grass the dirt. You see it. There's probably like a six inch lip. Oh well, yeah, too much. Yeah. So what did we get? We got sixty tons of dirt <coughs> like two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm thinking the time to wait until like, we cut the sod out and scrape it down and then put the sod back down. Would we want to think about doing that as a project before snow? We could. So we could get some. <coughs> If you're gonna yeah, do it, you're gonna do it. I mean, the ideal thing would be is if you could take out like three feet of sod, three or four feet, like me and Jake were saying, to say, and, and then you had a machine with like a four foot bucket. You took the dirt out two inches lower than the infield and then put the sod back, you'd be back level. I can get us a sod cutter. That's something that we. <coughs> right, but if we put it in and see what snows of that would do it for, we don't need to do anything. I mean, we don't need to cut the sod and roll it and put it back, but it's pretty hard on a baseball field to get grass growing before the season starts. Mm, yeah. and so, then, but why wouldn't you just why wouldn't you just put more? Is it the problem to get not that the infield's too high, it's that the 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 dirt's too low, right? Well, well, what, what, <laughs> what happens is when everybody's raking and dragging, it's like wheel hair on the field. As you go around. The dirt keeps moving constantly that way, mm -hmm. and then it builds up on the grass. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So you need You're to saying we have that back out again. Yeah, because yeah, we have so much dirt. They have kind of like you, we could bring the infield up, but you're talking tens of thousands of dollars. Right? Yeah. <laughs> the dirt flow is expensive. And the infield mix is expensive. Yeah. Because like on the edges, like Wayne saying. <clears throat> like the dirt just gets trapped underneath it, so it starts to swell up. Kind yeah, of yeah, I mean, the wind blows, the grass catches the dust. Yeah, and then, yeah, and then the grass keeps growing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I see that. It's like pregnant. I mean, the right thing to do is like ZA does a lot at the end of the year. Come and go out there with a hose and blow that edge of the grass back into the infield. Oh, yeah, they do? Every like year. almost like power, so like yeah, fire power right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're blowing that dirt on any from that grass back into the infield. Again. Anybody in the uh, fire department here? Training. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's too late. Now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I you take the well, you got to move like six or eight inches. But I think you take the grass with it this now. You know what I mean? When you do it every year, you're only talking. I mean, a little bit. Gotcha. So that'd be something like once we're in a set spot, we start doing. Once you get it fixed, if you know what I mean, yeah, if we could do know. that every fall, yep. it's probably not filled up so quick. It shouldn't. Yeah, the, the whatchamacallit, I don't remember what, I don't know if it's on the website, when the application to do for the CCA. Brian, Brian sent this at email. Yeah, whatever the right way to fix that is. I mean, I, I don't. Uh, you feel? Yeah, I mean, there's another one that like, this, I this, think is the, like, this is a normal problem. Yeah, <laughs> I think this, I think the easiest way out is that is yeah. cut the sod, you know, roll it, it shave right it down, and then roll the sod back out. Mm -hmm. Would we want to purchase any more dirt? Do you think that's the go-to? You probably could use some, but I mean, this is it. Get some quotes. At least by doing that, you could do that. The dirt, you could the dirt, you could do that. Right. The, this, right. The, the, yeah, the, the dirt you could lay out. Well, the thing with the dirt is like last time we did. It's nice if you get it when the ground's frozen. Yeah. And drive right out oh, there and just yeah, dump yeah, it out yeah, the yeah, end yeah, 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 and then yeah. spread it out in the spring. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, and mud, in the middle of Mudsy's the only thing. Roll, <laughs> roll a 10 meter after that. Sure. But this, this dirt comes from some special place that you can't just get it from Delta. It's awesome. We get it from Delta. No. We got it from New Hampshire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we were thinking about going back to clay. Well, that's, I, I want to say the original stuff came from Maryland. 
heavier clay stuff? See, there's two things. The heavier clay... You guys can probably make a blend, I'm sure. <laughs> Trap rock. <laughs> Dallas still. Yeah. The heavier clay, that red clay that was on there, it doesn't take the water as well. You know what I mean? But the problem with the stuff we get from New Hampshire is if you don't get rain, it's conductible. You go wet. I mean, right now, I gotta say, whatever, you know, I mean, between the two of the mixes, it's pretty nice because we haven't missed a game on a weekend and it's rained every goddamn weekend. I don't know, maybe we do the same thing and get, if we ever do get mixed for it, get half and half, get one from there, get one from there, and just mix them together again. Or whatever, whatever, what does the A do? So, Brett was, all that. Brett was the one who sent us up to New Hampshire. Greg Wanter. Okay. But he does, he has a red clay guy who he said he has that too. Because this stuff's good. It's just literally, if it doesn't rain, you got to go out there and water the infield, the dirt down. And that clay, like, yeah. I always hated sliding at Frontier. <laughs> you get ripped up on that clay. Well, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, 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 what's down yeah, there yeah, now, I got to admit, is not. That kind of mixture of the two of them. Yeah. Yeah, I can get prices on both of those. Well, I mean, the, the, the dryness piece, I can speak to the communication price, right? Uh -huh. The dryness piece, got that also gets big. Right, that would be if we could, that, that was kind of the point of. Part of the incentive to do it is it yeah. actually cost us, a long term cost us. Was, yeah, if it was real dry out and there was a game, you could just go down there and flip the things on and wet the infield down. Shot up this year. You're already November next week. Are you rooting this spring? No. Ideally. Huh? Ideally. Or is it better? I don't know. If I'm, or is it better to do it in the spring? What does it feel? Like? When does your fall ball start? <clears throat> Not fall ball start. Baseball start. No, you're in the fall league for next year. You start September. I don't know if they'll do it. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, because your guys will be older. You'll at least do a mantle one, though. Well, the whole thing is, is it's going to be if there's a uh, team. Well, I'm just wondering if you shut it, if you close that field down next, <clears throat> end of next August, and you, then you get your dirt. If you live in the lawn for another year, you need to live in the lawn for a year. Well, I'm thinking, you think it'd be too... You, do it all you wouldn't want to do it in the spring, would you? No, it's going to play on. Yeah, well, you could keep... So I was just thinking you did next fall and you shut the field down. You want to do it next to the end. You want to do it like when, December 20th. Yeah. yeah. When do your game start? Start the project December first, start cutting it down and give it a couple months of, to re root and be good for spring of 25, whatever year. Great. Five in the winter. And then, yeah. Our game starts. That's what first I'm saying. Week if, if you can't limit it along another year, then, then or maybe get a little dirt just to buy some time to kind of add that and then cut that. That's a, it's a project you got. Oh, yeah. It's not you got a lot of yards that come out quick then. No, but if you started in August, September, the grass rebound with no one playing on it, you have the best chance. If you want to go to the extent of them being able to, you know, actually hose the grass and water back each year and do it all one time. That's all. Well, a lot of that is just getting the guys to drag it, to drag it, right? Well, the base pass, you should never run that thing up and down the base pass. Well, so, the lazy ass frontier guys. Maybe some, some and then when you, the, you know I mean? no base, do not drive on base pass. It's kind of common sense. When you rake it, you don't rake side to side. Yeah, but you, can't. you go with the base pass. <laughs> you can't say common sense. Don't apply. More blacker than the three wheeler. <laughs> so you're, you're the one with the turf degree. I would say anything. I would say next year. Yeah, it's like a high of 30 on Monday. Oh. <laughs> I hate to say it. The other thing I could do is go down there and actually so dry wash it and see if it did do anything. Because the worst you know, part, the only part I get nervous about is short stop steppers. It's, I don't know how nobody's tripped it. But infield dust. 
From the infield to the base path? Or from the base path to the outfield? Yeah. The infield to the outfield. Yeah, but the other thing I'm almost wondering is if we just take out like 18 inches. It doesn't matter if the oh. infield dirt's a little bit bigger. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to just it out. You need river road paving jobs? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 10 ton roller, vibratory, just smash it down. So no, that's one thing we gotta figure out how to do down there. We can put a big vibratory roller on it. It's, no, it's soft roll. Ground. There's roll, like. When we were pushing the soccer goals, you said this. The outfield and the soccer field. Yep. Yep. I know it said the other day when I was down there walking and trying to get I never realized how bad it got. Would a roller taking in that out? What's that? Oh. Yeah. Are you doing it in the spring? Yeah. Do you ever roll out any of that baseball field to give it another season and then do it next fall? Buy yourself some time? No, you can wait till fall. There ain't a roller. Oh, how much it'll push it down. No, you run a jumping jack when the ground's soft, and you run a jumping jack, they sink out of the sun. Oh, you can lose them. Yeah. Oh. And you were saying yeah, Warner Brothers used stuff. to do a roller, right? I don't know. Warner's did it. He's got a big, heavy thing down there. They only have to roll it once in a while. We just believe. You can send one down to, to, to the spring to roll it. That's not a big deal. Well, yeah, I mean, where you guys practice, yeah. it's pretty bumpy, ain't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it yeah you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. Like the soccer field itself? I think it's bumpy. Or you yeah. yelling at No, out in the left field, though, <laughs> the baseball guys. Oh, oh, we're Pepsi kids. I never really noticed it, but, but uh, never really noticed it. But it's a there's a lot going on in those practices. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot going on. I'm trying to make it 10 o'clock. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we can we can have, we can make all things for those that are bad. But it just, it's just rolling the field like in the spring. You don't have to do anything. Yet. That's what we're thinking? Rolling, getting it ain't gonna hurt, right? Yeah. Right. And maybe good vibratory rolling knocks in that hometown. Yeah, maybe. Who, and who would do that? The vibratory roll thing. Well, we'll, yeah, get you, we'll get you a push one with a motor on it. I can go make some <laughs> fucking high school kids. Do it, so. so we're going to wait for the big diamond for next year. Should we get some mix to fix the little ones? Yep. How much is the motor mix? Uh, well, yeah, 30 tons. I do not remember off the top of my head. I want to say I want to say it was only like 2,500 bucks. For a thirty top. Yeah, what we got last time. Yeah. Which I would say the little field. But it's not like it's down to that. So it's like you could do the field. Field. Yeah. But you know what I mean? I would say what we got last year and spread around that big diamond is probably going to be enough to put an inch or two around that little field. What we have left? You're saying? Or no? no what we brought? What did we get? Oh, that was two years ago. The dome filled with yeah. the blacktop. Yeah. 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 How do we spread it? The town, Dylan, them guys with the dump trucks, the town truck called it and dumped it on the infield. And, and it got dumped on the corner, isn't it? Remember, where, didn't they dump all the trucks? We were yeah, because when they brought it, the, the ground wasn't frozen. Oh, that's why they dumped it on the field? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, maybe do a load or two and buy it some time and then do that. Well, I'm not talking for the big diamond now. The small one. Yeah. Because the small one doesn't need to be cut or nothing. It's not. It's just low. Yeah. You bring it up an inch, it's going to be nice and low. I would think you'd be able to put an inch on a 30 ton. A little base that's not the other one. 60 feet. Good thing. What is it? 20 feet deep? No. 15 feet deep? The infield? Yeah. But it's pretty big because it has a 50 70 feel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's probably more than 30. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I figured, what would you say, 15 yards? It's pretty deep. Yeah. Maybe a little less, yeah, 40 feet. Maybe you ain't gonna find them. You won't get. So we gotta look up a 46 60 feel first, and then look up the dimensions of the 50 70. <laughs> 
Det er et år. Det er et But now it is intermediate baseball is 57. Yeah. Mound is 50, base bats are 7, bases are 7. Do you know that's how kids play baseball nowadays? Like sixth graders, they play in a 50 70 and stuff. And you would say it makes a big difference. Was four feet difference? 46 okay. Yeah, because now you push the infield back. But you still leave the infield in because of the small feet. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't know Look that, up I, convert. I didn't know that that changed. I think it's kind of dumb, but it is. There's less of a change when you go from one to the other. And I will say, like in seventh grade, when you do make that jump, like throwing that ball from third to first, <laughs> the scariest thing in the world. Long yeah. way. Well, I, remember, like, I was the playing. The first thing you make them do is fall ball. The new one's coming up. Yeah. Okay, we can go on third base. I'm hitting the ground for the next two hours. <laughs> yeah, I was in seventh grade. I had to play JV because there was a couple injuries and I was catching. I didn't throw anyone out when I was in seventh and eighth grade. <laughs> it wasn't until freshman year. How much did that little league stuff? No. Not a single person. No. Um, All right, so. I guess grant stuff, if we don't have anything that's, well, what, what the trees? Yep. Tree, shrub. Yeah, we got to put in for the trees to fence the shrub. <coughs> we definitely want to put in for the back areas right yep. here. And yep. it seems like that's, yep. that's right. sounding pretty good for us. Yep. In, in field, next to the dirt needed for one inch depth, 60, 21 yards. Right. Probably 30 tons. Yeah. How many for seven? Yeah. I would say, yeah. That yeah. dirt, that dirt's heavy. It's wet. Kind of like something. Like a 70 grass infield. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Grass infield on 60 is 12 yards. So you'd have plenty to put two inches on, probably. Mm -hmm. A bear grass infield. Oh, for sure. Yeah. This is a cool site. Yeah. So you have to put the difference between those two. No. No, you have to go to the higher. The higher ones, it does both that field. So the 70 would be 21 yards for one inch. Yeah, you'd be cutting it. The grading would be right on. I'm short. One inch. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, if we get what we got last, you can make it look good. There'd be plenty. And if there's left one, where you go, well, I guess you're right, you probably wouldn't do the mound or, yeah. you know, yeah, go the mound and what. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying, yeah, you can go touch up the big the home plate or something and start with one spot. Yeah. What's, uh, hey, we can use our soccer uh, revolving money, just reinvest it in Hurley right away. Well, they work on the little field. So we're yeah. going to wait for the big field to next year. Because we got to fix the still guy didn't get to that. we got to fix that dugout that the roof's falling in. Yeah. Jason, uh, some basketball coaches want to help with that. Jason Stone, you know him. He yeah. said he wanted to help. He said he could help us get supplies and stuff like that, help us with labor. I don't know what we need for tools, like equipment and whatnot. Yeah, but yes, we should fix that. And I didn't look at any of the, I didn't go over there much this year to look at what the fences look like. Um, I think they're all right. I didn't, like, whenever I was there, I didn't notice anything. You didn't notice the, none of them are curling up and out like on the bottom? on the big diamonds, okay. it's starting to curl up okay. on the bottom. But I wonder if that one, if we can just get, like, have them anchored to the pipe on the bottom. Yeah, that'd be... The weird thing is, they always put the damn thing right on the ground. What kind of talk about the big diamonds? I mean, in a little bit. Yeah, what fence? The fence is down like the third base. The third base. Both fences are curled. It's the team. It's the weed whackers. The string repeatedly grabbing them. Yeah, hitting it. They eventually they just take that chain link fence and it yeah. curls right up in that hole. Yeah. Because we just replaced. It's right before you. Oh, yeah, you came on. We replaced the third solid? base line on. 
the big guy. Okay. Is there a piece of flat bar that runs from the bottom of it? No. But when we replace the third baseline, they put a bar on the bottom. Yeah. We use like a three eighth. Or they just call. use the inch and a quarter round puck. Oh, I remember fences where they always have like a, like a half inch lip flat bar that ran down the line. Yeah. I wonder if you ever run, if you get flat bar and weave it right through to keep it rigid enough. I just get the inch and a quarter pipe on it. How you attach it? Pieces they attach to the fence with. Oh, you're replicate the bottom of the top of the bottom. Yeah, yeah the same way a top would be. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, do yeah. the same thing on the bottom. You got a 21 foot stick of pipe and do it like that. Yeah. But basically, for this fall, like our first. I think concentrate. Upgrade. It sounds like concentrate on the little. Thing. Yeah, get the dirt, and then we add some different things yeah, um, that we can fix out in the spring. Okay. Dugouts? Would you want to do that in the springtime? I never. I mean, it's yeah, that's a, because you want you want it for the. Whenever. Yeah, I think you want to do that in the spring, but because you want you would like that for the season. Yeah. yeah. What happened to the dugout? Shit. Stuff you let loose on one of the corners, so one of the back posts went up through the roof. Really? Yeah, the roof like dropped. Those were brand new when I was in the second grade. That was a long time ago. No, those aren't those. Are those you sure? Away. The ones with the D A R. Those R A M. They blew away. Interesting. Then they built these. Gotcha. Yeah, you're so the they last. You grew so up they last even less than we thought. Wood dug out. Ow. <laughs> yeah, the ones you had when you were playing, they blew away. <laughs> Which them dugouts, they're in good shape. They just need some structural design. Yeah, they just need some, you know, the care to them. All right, so that'll be your priority in the spring. Uh, I'll be able to. Yeah, I mean, is that something we need to include Jason Stone in necessarily, or? You can tell me you want to do it if you want. So I'll keep it I, 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 any, 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 I mean, if there's somebody in the community that wants to do something. For God's sake, don't turn away. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I guess. He's <laughs> a Conway DPW guy. Yeah. From Whaley? Yep. Oh. Yeah, he coaches basketball. Yeah, I'm with that. They want to do some work, though. Go ahead. Place is open. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's anything. The other thing, will we need if we do, I want to get some things we can get that done in the fall perhaps. What's that? Will we need the fire station? That's another big thing Dan Kennedy's talking about. He wants to build the town garage there. Right. So Well that's another reason I think we're gonna start looking at expanding this. That's what I told him. I was like, Yeah, well I want that guy's backyard. <laughs> We're gonna before I get you. The other thing we can do, I don't know if maybe it's worth the phone call. <clears throat> Here's a field out behind me. You can't. Oh, like the one you see from the highway, that little like softball field thing out there. Yeah, there's a backstop there. I think still out there. Who is that? They let us use it long time. I think you can if I put that up there. Yeah. yeah, like a men's softball thing. Yeah, they just huge. Yeah, it's just something like where, I, I don't know, in my mind, it's like, just like strategically, right? Like if, if they want to build a town garage, rather than then trying to maintain multiple different places, right? It's not, it's not like, oh, it's, it's, so easier it's not like, this is a, it's not like we're in a, in like, uh, you know, New York City, where like each borough needs to have its own thing, right? Like, it's yeah. not waste, right? If you drive to, if you drive to, to <laughs> The fire station, you can drive to Hurley. Right. I almost think of it rather than say the money and effort to like maintain multiple spaces, just make Hurley, put, just, just make Hurley better or bigger, better, whatever, more, more uh, right, yeah. capable of handling more people. You just, to have two Little League teams there at a time, you need more space. You know, that's the only thing. And like, well, the other thing is, should we look at getting a Portable mount. Have on the side. 
Huh? Be your accord to make both happen. Use from the top of it, right? Top of it. Yeah. You know I mean? But, that, it's only but one that's getting used. Like oh, I know. Every but you know what I mean? So can, I don't know if it's. It is, yeah, it is. We have a Whaley, like, in. Yeah, there's, there's a, a Whaley team. And then there's a Whaley team. Yeah. And then the JV still uses their home field, don't they? Um, I don't know if they had any games this year, but every that's what I'm saying. Every time you drove by this spring, all three fields getting used. It was, I'm telling you. The data. Check the camera. Yeah, check the camera. I'm telling you. They had, I, mean, um, so like, I, I know this way to be another day, but like, I, in my mind, it's hard, I find it hard to believe that we should be having, a, like when Sugarloaf is fucking three quarters of a mile, half a mile away. That's deer field. Like within, yeah, I know, but like within a within a within a quarter mile radius, yeah, like I don't think we need another. Nobody uses it. Well, I, I know. But I'm saying it's, it's there as yeah. the same as it is. Like, yeah. sure. but the firehouse too, that doesn't need any maintenance or upkeep. That's just like a, that's just an open place, yeah. you know, where they go and well, like play catch and fly balls and stuff when they're trapped. So that's not. That's not like an expense Why? for the town. It's just like, hey, here's some open space because yeah. we got all three fields being used. There you go. Because, yeah, I mean, I mean it. They were there practicing at least three days a week, then they'd have a game. I didn't see people there on the weekends very often, but during the evening times in the week, yeah. Well, no, that's why I'm wondering if we should look at getting a portable mound. And you stick it out there? It may be, you know what I mean? I mean, every field should be able to, if we, essentially what you want is every field to be used every day of the week. Right. right. You know what I mean? So maybe there's a day they can get in there. Well, and those like I'm not rookie, talking putting a fifth and six traders in that. Yeah, yeah. But like the coaches pitch stuff in that. But you don't need a mound for the coaches yeah, pitch stuff. Yeah, coaches pitch, you really don't even need a mound. Yeah. And we could play coach pitch games there, but again, it was just, it was getting used. Right. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. They do not pay us anything that softball week. But it is we town residents. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, uh, so that was the only, that's the only thing with the fire station. It was just green grass, you know. Place for another team to practice. You're never gonna have games there. Right. It's just another field they got practice on. Yeah. And it's like if that backstop were there or not, you know, it doesn't even matter. It's just again, just yeah. the just the property. Yeah, if we're gonna do it, we just do it like they used to. Go down there and say five foot rototiller and you just rototill up the grass to yeah, make right. it. Yeah, right. We use eyeball in your eye. Yeah. 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 There is a picture yeah. down there. Yeah. You just said you can't see the grass. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm wondering. You know what I mean? We Luke played when he was like. Too. We are going to have it. Yeah, if you, you think we'll need it, we'll probably do it in the fall. Because I'm guessing we're going to put. Are we going to put ice hockey rinks there this year or are we going to put it down early? I think we were going to do it early, right? I don't know. Uh, on the yeah, pavement? Yeah, yeah, we're we're I would do it early. Oh, lighting. We don't need lighting if it doesn't oh. get done. I mean, the people like the lighting going at night. Without having lighting, hey, just put that sign up. It's just open from dusk to dawn. I mean, the, the Yalpa, if that's the limitation, you want to do down there, like we can get well, we actually put that for for but, the portable. Yeah, you get. <laughs> we do we do it on the time for for ours, so we drop trailers and, and. Well, we ran the power. We're just gonna put the put a pole back in and put a light up. Oh, okay. We're power in there. Where do you want power to? Yeah, in the pavilion. Yeah. And then and I ran a, run to go into the back then I ran a, ran a conduit from the pavilion to the barn. Yeah. And then it runs from the pavilion out to the flagpole and then to the right field corner or the little field. The pole was going to go like right where the pole was that we have to take down by the barn. Yeah. Which would be plenty to wait that whole I don't know. Yeah, I can't remember how close that barn is. The barn is the corner. Yeah, yeah. 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 so we're going to put it somewhere around the corner of the barn. I mean, if there's money in the revolving fund, maybe we can get the light up. I feel like 
like people would appreciate the lights and the rain. Oh, they love the light oh, over yeah, here yeah, yeah, yeah. when we got it up at the fire station. Yeah. So, do you think we should keep it at the fire station? I think problem, that's. The problem that's with the problem. fire station is you can't. Parking would you, mess it up. Well, it's not, I don't even care about the parking, but you can't put it up until the ground's frozen. Mm -hmm. And then you've got to get that down as quick as you can because then otherwise the mold goes on, go underneath it and chew the line. Now, now, if you did it early, could, would you do it right in the right blacktop? Right on the blacktop. Uh, I would think. I mean, I think the, just this is anecdotal, that we went, we, we went one time, but uh, <laughs> it was a, the ice cream was a huge hit, I think. It you, like, it just, I mean, just, just like, just like um, uh, the, the, mentality of it like it was perceived it was very well received I think. yeah from, and from the town from the town okay. so i think the um, nice thing about it gives a lot of visibility at the fire station compared to early people know it's there yeah. how many people in whitley drive river road compared to drive by the marsh yeah oh i bet more people go river road i think so but i think it's going to be another one of the things you put it there yeah, so the get out page, yeah. Well, the thing is, if, if, if you put it there with a giant light on the on okay. the bar, like, yeah, yeah. Okay. that, yeah, yeah. Until you start yeah. yeah, but see, we I think we put the light just like we did over there. It's on a, I think it's an hour timer. Mm -hmm. So you go there, you turn the dial for an hour. Oh, you want to skate? It shuts off after an hour. If you want to skate longer, turn the dial. Over. That way, nobody could just. It wouldn't stay on 24 hours. Who pays the electric meter? Rex pays the electric meter down there? Is that really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, haven't, I haven't gotten an electric bill in months. Light stays on year round. Yeah. If you're not getting a bill, light stays on. Yeah. 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 Don't ask, don't tell when it came yeah. to that. It's like, heck. <laughs> hey. That's the right on. I only pay what I get in the mailbox. I pay. Yeah. Who do you think? Oh, I got a bill for you. I got a paint. Do we, we have a decision on the on the the ice rink? I like the idea. I like it. I like early. I like early. You can get a longer season. You don't wait for the ground. I don't see why not. It's on blacktop. You can just put yeah. the thing down. And then no more. I mean, I don't know. So you, said. you probably know blacktop better than I do. You know what I mean? Do you think it'll heat up too much? Good. No. No. I mean, once it's covered, it's it does. Yeah. It'll get it, it gets hot by by the sun, by that but that's um, you know um, radiation, not yeah, correct. induction uh, yeah. Uh, convection. Yeah, um, the black top itself ain't really getting hot. No, no, no. Well yeah, it is but it's because of the light shine on it. Well okay. the light's not shining on it, it's not it's not insulated by me. Or, or really, it's not the self generating heat I tried it early. Down there. Down there. Well, that's the big thing. I I I think it would be nice if we figure out a light situation, especially when it gets dark at 4:30. You yeah. know, it. Well, there's. When's your next meeting? For CPC. Um, next month. I don't have the exact date. But I'm gonna bring up. If we use that leftover. Yeah. We gotta, yeah, figure out what we want for lights, and then I can get price well, and stuff. I think what we do is just do the same thing we did at fire station. That one light sitting up on that pole lights up that whole wall field. You probably pretty much play a night game. Does that light need to stay there? Does it? Yeah. Whose light is it? <laughs> All the no. pole and the light and auger a new hole. No, I think fire department put it up. Oh, okay. There's one of them, we were putting one up for the open the parking lot, up. and then we just said, the heck with it, we'll put one on both sides. I, I mean, it, you, you might, for, for early, you, the light itself is cheap. It, it, oh, it might not be a, you might want to have a light in that parking lot anyway. Yeah, eventually, yeah. yeah we, got, <laughs> we got shit going on down there. I called the police department yesterday. It's, oh. um, the... Not to change the subject, but that trash guy said he was like trying to do the last bathroom and he was trying to get in there, it was locked, he was knocking on the door, somebody's telling him to wait, wait, he said he waited for a half hour 
and he called the police because he was like thinking it was a homeless guy or something. I asked him if he got eyes on him. He never actually answered that question. I didn't want to ask him again. I mean, it's tough. But Maybe we got to go back to walking the damn. Nah, I hope we don't have to. But yeah, I just want to. But and some guy called me about sticking. They were worried. People were saying they found the heroin needles down there, and he wanted to put that stuff that revives them. What the hell is that? I can't. Yeah, he wanted to stick that down there, and then it was like. Well, it was like, yeah. It was like, it's like yeah, no, that, if we're doing that, let's put a, a, a slide right into the river. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like some kid is going to see them. You're like, oh, what the hell is this? Like, you know. So, yeah, I was just like, no. And he agreed. So that was good. But that's the fire station. Yeah. But. Put that sugar on. Yeah. So yeah. the <laughs> worst you want, you put it down there, but you lock it up in the kitchen. Yeah. Some lights down there, though. Yeah, that, was, that might be good. I, I, but I, I mean, regardless. Yeah, maybe it's time to get like me and Jake were talking. Maybe it's time to put cameras down there. But irregardless of the of the the ice rink, it it might not be bad. I don't I don't even know if we're we're putting the light down there specifically for the ice rink. Well, now now the time to do if we're doing the ice rink anyway. Right. But it, it might not be a bad idea to have to have a light down there. Anyway. Well, there always was one. We took it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. the parking lot? Huh? Why'd it come down? Because it was attached to that, it was on that pole. So part of this park range is you can't have overhead power lines. Uh, whatever. Okay, yeah. No idea. But okay. that's what it was. That's why it came down. We just need one light? Yes. So. What size? Tell you, go down if you are right now. Go down to the fire station, turn that timer on. You'll see how much of that feels like. Oh yeah, I believe it. Light. I'm just wondering what, what like what size, what type. Parking lot too. Just take to the parking lot. Okay. Like that much. That way down there, I bet you could play a night. One light. It goes well. They go from the fire station parking lot, and you can see them pine trees clear as day. Really? Yeah. It's powerful. <laughs> you just want to, you tell me what to get or whatever, and I'll get it. Like size, brand. What's that? Mark. What's his name? Bushier, Bushier. That guy? Got from the fire station, yeah. Red band. Yeah, Bushier. Yeah, Bushier. Bushier, yeah. He worked for the town or just he's got no, a town electrician? He Sweet. does a lot of stuff for the town, no. We have a contact number for him? Yeah, he's a big Alright, you can reach out to him. I can see. He's 703. He oh, yeah, I'm going to I can find it. Maybe we got uh, a telephone pole. Or we gotta find a telephone pole. I have some. I got brand new ones. Got this time of day and I'm both. Because yeah. if we put it right there next to that barn somewhere, there's power. So yeah. there's no yeah. conduit or nothing around. Just out of the barn and up the tree. Mm -hmm. This is his uh office number, four one three six six five three five four seven. B U S S I E R. All right. Are we going to vote? Yeah. Wink about for the answer I got. We have the. We do need to vote on the nine to seven thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, um, can we do that at any time in our agenda? Or do we need yeah. to work through? And then well, he's going to leave. So yeah. 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 No, I, I was. Just wanted to make sure that following the rules. Um, all right, so I make a motion to have the rec committee be seven people. Yeah, second that. Yes. This is Justin Davis. I vote yes. Yeah. Justin, you still there? Yeah, I just heard Justin's voice. Justin, are you in? I'm. I'm still. I'm still here. Yeah, this is Justin Davis, and I'll, I'll vote yes on that. Can you guys hear all hear that? Yep. Yeah. 
Awesome. Cool. All right. So that is complete. Nine to seven members. I don't know if that has All right. to go to Thanks for Trader off the hook. All right. I appreciate that. Nothing else on this agenda. Fall wrap up items. Oh, you get your water line too. Don't forget about it. Yeah, I guess we got one. Okay. All right. Have a good day. There's no bathroom. Is that Hurley? Yeah, and that one I ordered. Mm. And that one I Jake. put the out of order sign because we couldn't lock it wide open hey, hey. today. See, see, see you, Jake. So that one might have like a big pile of stuff in there or something. <laughs> Hopefully by the end of the week. Yeah. Going, Water pipe first. First? Is that what it was? Yeah. If yeah. the corporation screws into the main, yeah. that let loose. When that let loose, does it let go? I'll show you. It's in the pickup. You never believe. I've never seen one like this. But it, 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 the water kept pushing and it pushed sand in the service line. Uh -huh. And I have no idea how far down it was. Sure. I know it doesn't. Pretty sure it doesn't reach, it doesn't go from the big diamond on, should, I think it's good. Because when you go to that faucet and open it, the water will drain. If it ain't getting from the road to the big diamond. Is that where you were, I think I drove by there, you were digging it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so hopefully by the end of the week, I'll, I'm hoping, Somehow I can get the sand out of the pipe that's there and not have to run a new one. One way for it to go, right? Oh, I just can't. I don't know how I'm going to get it out of there. I pulled a new one underneath the street because mm. I tried and tried and tried. This stuff was like concrete in there. Mm. I'm hoping maybe. Uh, go at it with a piece of wire or something and yeah. just keep chipping away at it or yeah. maybe go from the other end and throw like an air compressor through the faucet or something yeah. and blowing it backwards or something. I really don't feel like in a trench from the road all the way to the building. No, 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 no. Um, but just so like priorities, I guess, would be the, the CPA thing. Yeah, we got to get yeah. CPA stuff. Cause it's the, the dirt prices for the youth field thing, and then the light at Hurley. Those yeah, are like the, CPA, yeah. Light, at, light at Hurley is actually the, the, next, uh, the next priority, cause yeah. so we can do that. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah, you mean, mean if it goes down there on the blacktop, you should be able to get it up earlier and it should freeze earlier. You don't have to wait for the ground to freeze. Mm -hmm. um, anything else on the agenda we need to cover? Old news? Um, Justin, any ideas? In terms of... Uh... New, any new ideas for for what? Yeah, just I think we're about to finish up, so I just figured if you had anything you wanted to mention or or whatever. Oh no, I'm I'm all good. Um, yeah, I, I'm sorry I'm not there. Um, it's obviously a lot lot easier in person to do this, but uh, but yeah, no, I don't really have anything to add. Um, if I think of anything, I'll let you guys know. Cool. Cool. Yeah, and thanks for sticking with us on the on the Zoom call. Absolutely, my pleasure. <clears throat> um, do we make a motion to adjourn the meeting? Yes, we're done. All right. I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll yep. second that. All right. I guess we're all set. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Chris, for setting all this up. Appreciate it. Yeah, you got it. All right. Thanks, Justin. We'll see you. All right. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.